I'm from Chicago, England. Where? Your mom was dead, son. So they're bringing her back. Who's bringing her back? That English bastard and his kids. Bloody fool! Damn it, Neil. One of these days, your luck is gonna run out. Oh, oh. It's like gone with the wind. Hi, everybody. Well, y'all come on in. This is Daddy. How'd you do, Mr. Cortland? I hated that man for 20 years. Blame me for ruining my life. You know, better place now. Better than England, anyway, from what I know of it. <laughs> I'm just asking with you, son. But not really. Damn, it's miserable over there. Families can be difficult. They sure can. This English accent of yours makes me hornier than Frank Sinatra. I heard you and Kingsley are going hunting. It feels funny. Are you all right? Alan, put LSD in Daddy's iced tea. Yeah, yeah. 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 God. Hey, Jimbo, me and Carol, we don't care that you never did see combat. There ain't no reason to be jealous about it. Daddy, I'm 18. I joined the army. People say they don't like to talk about war because it brings up the bad memories. I believe they don't talk about it because nobody wants to hear it. Kingsley, you heard of Jane Mansfield? They had the very car she was killed in out of the discount store. We all have a crash of some sort awaiting us. <sighs> How cold can it be in there? You can't even hug your own son on the day of his mom's funeral. These days, I think I spend more time accepting things. Do you believe that? They're acting like long-lost buddies. It's not going to kill you to talk to your kids. You might be surprised what happens.